Hi, and welcome to your next phrasal verb lesson. Take over, past tense, took, took over. Take over, took over. All right, what does it mean in American English to take over something? Well, often it means to come in and just take over something. I'm like, this is the one, this is a hard one to explain, but take over basically means to take an area or person by force, right? So you could say the insurgents took, you'll hear this in the news a lot. The insurgents took over this area and the other team, the other military is fighting back, right? So you'll see like take over um, this person, this country is just trying to take over the other country. And you'll see this in the political situations in the news around the world. Um, in our history, you'll see this a lot too. This country tried to take over that country. Um, all of these things happen, but take, took over. Is a very common phrase in that in that in, to describe those situations or in the movies you know you'll see like the bad guys try to take over the good guys the other definition of takeover is to take responsibility of, of a situation that someone else had responsibility for so let's say the business is dying it's going it's going downhill very quickly because of bad leadership so you might have the board took over the ceo's job and fired the ceo and hired a new CEO, or you'll see like this person took over that person's job. That can happen. Or just in your home, <laughs> you can you can maybe maybe I am not doing a good job at something. My wife will take over and do it better than I can do, um, which is often very good. And and that's a good that's a good takeover because it needed to be done, and and she can do it better than I could. So having her take over, doing something better than I can do is using our strengths, right? Or I might take over something she needs me to take over on. Like, okay, I'm exhausted. We've watched these children all day long. Can you please take over the responsibility of watching the kids? So that's take over is to take responsibility for something and, and, and remove the other person in that situation, right? Take over, to take over. This happens in sports too. If the football player, the quarterback, is not playing very well, sometimes a new quarterback will take over that responsibility on the team. Definition of takeover is to kind of get control of something. And you'll see this in like protests or groups in the news and media is like the protesters took over the neighborhood and, you know, set up barricades or, you know, things like that um, is, is not too common, but you do see that. Or again, with the countries, another example of takeover is to become more powerful or successful. So like the Persian empire took over the Babylonian empire in 539 BCE. Okay, so that's your phrasal verb lesson, take over. A quick review, it means to take over like by force, an area, or it means to take responsibility for someone else in a situation. Those are really your two main ones. I have more definitions for these phrasal verbs. If you go to my website, eslwithpurpose.com, you can find 70 phrasal verbs you need to know, as well as my free ebook on how to play the phrasal cards. So if this helped you, subscribe and follow, and I'll see you in a future lesson.